With all the hammering about interest rates and the macro environment, sometimes I like to step back and focus on individual companies with strong secular growth stories. The ones that could work even are slower than the ones that are not going to slow down because rates are higher. Companies like Train Technologies. It's a major player in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning space. Big refrigerated trailer business on the side. Despite worries about rising interest rates hurting their business, the company keeps putting up Really terrific numbers, including last month, where they also raised their full-year forecast. So how does Train do it? In part, it's because they make energy-efficient climate control systems that allow corporate customers to lower their carbon footprint and their electric bill. It's a good investment no matter what, especially with some of the climate-related goodies in the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, although we'll probably do pretty well without it. Uh, the stock's already up more than 21% for the year. Can it keep climbing? Let's dig deeper with Dave Regneri. He's the chairman and CEO of Train Technologies to learn more about the company. Mr. Regneri, welcome back to Man Money. Hey, Jim, thanks for having me back. I'm glad to be back on your show. Oh, I am glad that you're here. It, so. You know what? A lot of people seem to almost want to uh, worry about the, those who don't believe in climate change and they don't come out and say it and they just say, well, earnings per share, earnings per share. You talk about decarbonization as being first good for the world, but also good for the bottom line for shareholders. You're not afraid to alienate those who don't believe? No, Jim, look, first of all, if you think about heating and cooling of buildings, it represents about 15 percent of all greenhouse gas. And then if you think about food waste, it represents another 10 percent. So we're, the industry that we play in has 25 percent of greenhouse gas. And we've developed solutions that have fantastic paybacks. So I always say it's green for green. So we have solutions that really make the world a better place from a decarbonization standpoint. We have a, what we call a thermal management system okay. where it's able to, if you think about a conventional building and how you used to heat and cool, you had a heating side, we call that a boiler, you have a cooling side, we'd call that a chiller. They worked independently. We combined them into one system. And when you combine them into one system and it works simultaneous for simultaneous heating and cooling, it's three to four times more efficient than the conventional way of thinking, three to four times. The paybacks on these systems, in many cases, it depends on what you're replacing, they could be sub three years. So it is green, it's green for the environment, but it also has a very nice payback for the customer. All right, well, I, when I look at, uh, mention, we mentioned the government programs, this elementary and secondary school emergency relief, I mean, these are, they're mandated. You must be getting your fair share of that. Yeah, the ESSER funding in the United States, it's been with us for about two years. It's got a little over two years to go, so it's about halfway through. Uh, the, the, we've always been strong in the education vertical with our direct sales force and being able to call on directly to school superintendents. Uh, I believe in the, in the in year to date through the second quarter, our revenue is up close to 30% in that vertical. And if you look at it on a two-year stack, our revenue is up close to 60%. 60 percent. Yeah, I know, and a lot of times people need to understand, the analysts understand, you have to look at a lot of things in a two-year stack with you. The residential two-year stack, the thermal, the thermo, because if you don't, it looks like you had an evident down year, but that's not fair. Yeah, it, it really, it's so true, especially when you start looking at order rates. Our right. backlog at the end of the second quarter was close to $7 billion. That's, that's two to three times, well, two and, and a half explain times how more much, than those. Explain how much, therefore, of the year's already made. Well, I mean, the backlog will burn through the right. year. But, you know, it, it really is about absolute numbers. And if you look at our order rates, you could see that, you know, our order rate, well, I'll give you an example. Our commercial HVAC business in the second quarter, we were up high teens in the Americas. We were up high, high teens in Europe. We were up over 40 percent in China or in Asia. And our book to bill in the total business was 101 percent. That's, that's so, I mean, that gives you an example of the magnitude of the numbers we're talking about. Now, uh, we don't. I want to talk about Thermo King because Thermo has been a kick around. It's been a football business. It's been a lot of different outfits. It's finally found the right home. Uh, that's another one where there was a big jump in truck and then comes down. But it's a, if you smooth it out, it's a it very consistent business. It's a great business. I had the opportunity to run that business for about four years in my career, so I know it very well. It's a, it's a great dealer network we have. We have so much innovation that's going on in that business. That's another business where it's really it's going to be disruptive technology that we're going to deploy. It's the electrification of our units. And traditionally, they have diesel engines in them. We're moving that to an electric, all-electric system. It's exciting. The way we're able to... I was over in Galway, where we have a big manufacturing location in Ireland, and um, the way the engineers now look at it, they're looking at the, as the truck goes down the road, it's really, where is their power that I could harness? 
and you think about braking, and we have some great technology there where we're able to retake the, the power that would be lost during braking and recharge our batteries. So very excited about where we're going there. It's a fantastic business, and, uh, well, and we love it as part of our portfolio. Are there younger people who understand and can therefore, I mean, so many younger people want to do something with the environment. Maybe the smartest thing you could do is get an engineering degree and work for training. <laughs> well, we're always looking for great talent, so if okay. you're interested in applying, please, uh, please well, contact us. Well, it's just important person. because I think but that you know, like, you know yeah. what it is, Jim? It's our purpose, right? Our purpose right. Is, to, is to challenge what's possible and innovate for a sustainable world. And I want all 40,000 plus of our employees to get out of bed every day and know that they're going to make this world a better place for the next generations. And that's our mindset. And if you look at the solutions we've been able to develop in the last three years, the last five years, it's really incredible what we've been able to do. Well, look, I'm going to congratulate you. And these numbers, again, I want people to understand, you have to look at a, what's known as a stack. You have to, can't just look at year over year because you may actually think that, for instance, residential's not doing that good, whatever. All nonsense. It's a really consistent ramp, and the ramp is improving and getting faster. Dave Rignari is the chairman and CEO of Train Technology TT, which you know we love, and Mad Money's back here to the break.